right, my people, welcome back. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. It is our prayer that God will continue to bless and prosper the works of your hand. All right, on to the next one. Justice has been served at last. Justice, justice has been served at last. You know, an Akwai bomb, I state, High Court, presided over by Justice Nkanang on Thursday, August 4, sentenced Uduak Abasi Akman to death by hanging for murdering a job seeker in a bong umoren. Uduak Abasi Akman had lured and deceived in a bong umoren out of her home with a fake job interview in Uyo sometimes back. He raped her and killed her mercilessly in April in the outskirts of Uyo. He later buried her remains in a shallow grave in his family home where the crime took place. When he was first of all challenged and asked why he did it in his confessional statement, Uduak Abasiakman said, I first used condom to have sex with Inyo Bong Umoren and later removed the condom because I did not enjoy the sex. She became infuriated, angry, and I reached out to a stabilizer and a box iron and used it to hit her abdominal part and she started to bleed. I hit her again and she screamed. I used her jeans trouser and strangled her and she became lifeless. When the judgment was being passed, the court said the use of dangerous weapons such as stabilizer and a box iron to attack delicate parts of the human body like the head is a clear pointer that death was probable. The consequences of this action. The court found him guilty for rape and murder. However, the court discharged his father and his sister that they knew nothing about the crime. This was a very painful death. Inyo Bong was an orphan who struggled to go to school. She didn't have parents. And while she was looking for a job, she did not want to be a prostitute. She did not want to go into runs. She decided to earn a decent living. And this guy capitalized on the unemployment situation in the country, luring girls for, for employment. And when he does that, he rapes them. And you know, from the way he killed her, it is obvious that this guy was a serial killer. And then how did he transport the corpse all the way from where he killed that to his father's house to go and bury? We feel that at least the justice has been served, but it has not been fully served. Because how can the father and the sister, where he fled to, how can they claim to have no knowledge of what he did or what he has been doing? All right, my people. We are happy. This is a good news. At least justice has been served. Let him also go and face the young man news and know what death feel like for snuffing the life out of a 22-year-old girl, cutting short her dreams and everything. All right, my people, thank you for subscribing. Do not forget 